Good morning. It's 7.20 and it is 42 degrees. You're listening to the Rise and Shine Show. I'm Al Kim. Joining me on the phone right now it, at 7.21 is uh, Dr. Prasad Srinivasan, who is the 31st District State Representative from Glastonbury. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. It's so nice to have you here, and uh, not many people may know this, but uh, you are sort of a, uh, uh, a relatively rookie representative to our General Assembly from the town of Glastonbury, uh, and you sort of surprised a lot of folks about a year ago when you were elected. Yes, Al, you, you, you're absolutely right. I am a rookie representative. <laughs> I'm from the town of Glastonbury, and I definitely did surprise, I think, uh, the entire political system that uh, that I was able to, A, win this victory last year, exactly a year ago around this time. And not only did I win, but it was an extremely, extremely comfortable margin. Mm. And that definitely took everybody by surprise. People are still talking about it as <laughs> as late as yesterday morning See that? when I was at the, you know I was helping out at the polls in in, in Gideon Wells High School. I was, I was there. My duty was from six a.m. to eight a.m. And so many people came up and said, "My God, you were the dark horse, and uh, you <laughs> ran away, didn't you?" That's right. <laughs> and I said, "Yes, I did." <laughs> and and part of the I think part of your uh, your appeal or the interest in your. Uh, victory last year was that you actually have a full-time job you are actually a medical doctor and in fact if i recall you're the only licensed medical doctor in the general assembly you're absolutely right i mean the you know i am the only physician in the assembly hmm. and i think the, the both in the house as well as in the senate Good. and for me the the issues that were extremely important i kept my campaign very simple to the to the most important issues which still is the issue for the day, the economy, the jobs, health care, you know, those are such, mm. this, is a, this is our bread and butter. This That's is right. the stuff that we deal with day in and day out. And that was the message I took to the residents of Glastonbury, and I'm extremely thankful um, that they were kind enough to give me this opportunity. In terms of jobs, the economy, and health care, uh, what, what can be done to improve uh, any one of those? I, I, I'm so glad you asked me this question because the most important thing for us in a, uh, in, uh, in, in in the entire state is the economy and the jobs. Mm. As you know, from a 9.1 percent unemployment, which is obviously unacceptable, we're down to 8.9, but still very, very unacceptable. Mm. And uh, um, earlier in, a, in, in, in in the latter part of October, you know, we had a special session. The governor had called a special session. The major emphasis was on on, on, on jobs and in smaller companies, not in the big companies, but in the smaller companies, which is the backbone of Connecticut. And this was a session which I'm extremely happy and uh, happy with. It was truly bipartisan. It was not the it was not the governor's way or the Democratic way. They took a lot of input from the Republicans. We were at the table, not me personally, but my leadership was there at the table all the way. All the recommendations were taken, and that is why, as you saw, other than for two votes, one on the Senate and one on the House side, it was a bill that was passed unanimously mm. and signed into law by the governor, which I think will help in terms of getting the Connecticut economy back to where it is, which is the small businesses. That is the core, that's the essence of, of Connecticut, and I'm so glad that this stimulation packet that we have, and remember, we are not bonding extra money. This Good. is the bonds that have been already allocated Good. for, which now will be spent for this particular purpose rather than something else. That's good. That because, is the key right. thing that our economy is going to come around. I couldn't agree more because well, I, I can't spend more money on my credit card when I haven't paid my bills. So right. uh, <laughs> it's, it's the exact same way that we should treat the state. So, uh, Dr. S., thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, I hope that we can get you back again and uh, keep, uh, keep us updated on what's going on in the General Assembly. It'll always be my pleasure, and I want to thank you for inviting me. And in case I don't talk to you before the holidays, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a great holiday. Season. Great. And uh, can you give your website and phone number in case people want to get in touch with you? Okay, sure. Uh, the, the website is www.repsrenovacin.com. Great. Thank you so much, Doctor.